What is up you guys? This is Meatloaf back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about sliding, a scare tactic that originated in Matt Scary Farm in 1973. Now let's get right into the video. Now for our first material, we've got shoes. So this is just a standard DC sneaker that I got from Goodwill. That's where I get most of my stuff. It's pretty cheap and easy. Um, and I just used, right here is an elbow pad. I just cut out and put onto the toes of the sneakers of the other right here. However, um, I recommend this as like a last resort and highly recommend steel toe boots because for one they can spark which is cool <laughs> to be honest. I, there's no other really reason other than scaring I guess. And two, they last way longer and I think they slide better. I don't know because I'm trying out for the first time this year. Um, but yeah, just much better and but most of all is how to hold it in. So I used, uh, at first, Gorilla Glue, which is a big mistake because it doesn't hold as well as what you should use in glue, which is E6000. It's what all the scarers use, and my friends have recommended it, so E6000 is the way to go. But what I think is even better than glue is Gorilla Tape. So you can see around the lining, uh, even onto the sole of the shoe, it's all just Gorilla Tape. It holds it really well. It's like a stronger duct tape, and it's really tough too. Like, it doesn't tear easily, so highly recommend Gorilla Tape. Now on to the next material, knee pads. So these are World Industry knee pads, which I got from Big Five, which is like a sporting goods store, but you can get them from wherever, whether it's like Sports Authority or Dick Sporting Goods should have them. I don't know. I've never really been there, but um, they're just pretty cheap, normal knee pads. Uh, they're pretty thick, but what I really like about them is how smooth they are. It really helps you like slide on good materials and stuff. So I recommend these, but what I recommend even more, which is what all the scarers use, is scabs. Because you can buy replacement pads for those, whereas these I couldn't find any replacements. So it's just going to go through and possibly scrape your knee, but I highly doubt it. Just because the gasket is so thick. In case you don't know what a gasket is, it's like the fabric that holds your knee in place. Um, but yeah, scabs, I will also link in the description, uh, along with all the other videos, just link in the description. On to the last material, which is gloves. So, you're going to need, first of all, something to protect your palm. And I use rollerblade guards, uh, because it has plastic in the middle, and you can just slide on that. But I also recommend, I don't know if recommend, because I've never done it, but a lot of people use washers on the palms so that they can slide better, I think, but I'm not really quite sure, but I've also seen people use rollerblade guards, so it's really up to you. I'm going to be trying washers this year, and for the gloves themselves, there's going to be a tutorial on how to make them, but the materials you'll need is conduits uh, 3 slash 14, I believe was the number. It should be in the video in the description, um, but yeah, just use that, and you're going to Gorilla Glue it or E6000 it to the fingers. And I don't recommend, like, expensive gloves, like anything over $30 is just kind of ridiculous because they're gloves, you're going to be gluing them, you're going to be wearing them down. It's not a big matter of just, like, the expensive gloves as long as it's, um, what is this, a cobalt? I'm using cobalt, it's kind of a thicker material, and I really like it. It's really comfortable, it's really um, durable, and... If I can just put it on for a minute, I can bend my fingers, which is a huge matter because the conduits are kind of long, but they're not that bad. I have pretty big hands, but as long as you can like bend your fingers, that's what I recommend. They also have smaller sizes, but um, the smaller sizes are pretty small, so it depends on the size of your hand. Okay, so steel toe boots uh, are the first material you have to get to get the steel toe. Basically, you can get them from, most people get them from Walmart, or just any cheap place to get steel toe boots. I found these at Salvation Army, as I previously said, I think, in the video. And this is it. This is the piece that you'll get out. Sadly, the only size they had was an 8, so I'll have to get, like, a smaller shoe to fit it, but it'll work still. So, I'm going to show you how to get that first. You have to kind of feel around in the toe, in the part where... It bends right there about. You'll mark off with your pen, and that's where you'll saw. Okay, so once you mark it off, 
uh, it's kind of in the middle there for meat that I marked off. You're going to have to get something that can cut through leather because it's pretty tough. So I just have a little saw here. Um, but basically you could use anything. I'm sure a sharp knife would do it. But also be careful, of course. But you're going to cut through and then you're going to make an incision along the middle so that you could peel the leather back. Okay, so after you've sawed through, you make, and after you make the incision, of course, you'll have this and this. So you'll push this down and then peel these pieces back, revealing the steel toe. And then after you do that, you're gonna grab a flat nose screwdriver and basically pry into the folds and eventually pry this out. So I'm not sure if I can do it on camera, but it should just get down, get under it, and then you'll pry it out. Just a minute. Okay, so after you pry it out, just pull it out, and that's it. You'll have both of your steel toes, and then you can put them on whatever shoes you want, as long as they fit, of course. Um, what I recommend when you do put them on is use a coat of E6000 to lay them in there and put them exactly where you want them. And then on the bottom, I guess you'd say, the flat part, not the curved part, just wrap it in Gorilla Tape or whatever duct tape you want. And yeah, thanks for watching.